The Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwifery Association says migration of health professionals will continue until government enhances the working conditions of healthcare workers. The association was reacting to the red enlisting of Ghana among some 54 countries from being actively considered for recruitment by health and social care employers by the UK government. The code, titled Code of Practice Red and Amber List of Countries, states that some developing countries, such as Ghana, should not be targeted when actively recruiting health or care professionals. According to the UK government, the list is based upon the World Health Organization Workforce Support and Safeguard List 2023 and will be updated alongside progress reports on WHO Global Code implementation and reported to the World Health Assembly every three years. It will be recalled that in March this year, the WHO included Ghana and 54 other countries on its health workforce support and safeguard list, stating that these countries face the most pressing health workforce challenges related to universal health coverage. Already, the Ghana Medical Association has expressed worry over the alarming level of brain drain situation in the health sector, noting that the situation has worsened lately due to the migration of experienced professionals such as midwives and doctors. There are several ways in which we can help to ensure that at least these doctors stay within country. We know that a lot of people have left, a lot more people have left. We don't have the numbers and a lot more are preparing to leave. This red alert has thus come as an intervention to check the situation, but the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwifery Association has some reservations. It will not stop migration. Nurses will continue to go to UK. They will continue to go to different parts of the country because it's uh, of the world because UK is actively not recruiting, but individuals can still apply and be recruited into UK. The main reason why nurses and midwives are leaving the source of Ghana is because of their conditions of sex. So if government will heed to the plight of the union, the association, to improve on the living conditions of nurses and midwives, I think it will cut down on the migration issue. According to the association, it's about time government adopts a more robust approach to structure migration. Currently, they put migration on hold. Uh, if you if you go to the ministry, you are not giving clearance. And we think migration is the right of the Ghanaian next. You cannot hold them here in Ghana when you are not satisfying their job satisfaction. So we need to open up the system, do a broader stakeholder consultation, and think about a more uh, robust approach. Of the 54 countries, 37 are from Africa, with 14 countries from West Africa.